Okay, so this question seems really easy at first, um, but there's a bit of a gotcha in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, calculate, oh, click the wrong one. I'm just going to calculate the total length of this line here, because I think that will help me for later on. So that's going to be 35 centimeters, and the other one will be x plus 7, so that's not going to be helpful writing that down. Okay, so we've got two similar triangles, which means one's a direct enlargement of the other one. Um, and so this seems quite a simple task, uh, relatively. So that 5 there grows to 35. Okay, and to do that, we do, well, to work out the scale factor, so scale factor, so the 5 to the 35. The scale factor is going to be 35 divided by 5 which is 7. So the scale factor is 7. So therefore this one here to go to the larger length which I can hi I can highlight I'm just kind of this blue here uh, we're going to times that also by 7. So if this times is by 7 then this one will times by 7 so that will be 49 so um, x plus 7 the whole length would be 49. So to find x, it's just going to be 7 less than that. So it's just going to be 42. So x is definitely looking like it's 42. However, it does say there's two possible solutions. One of the flaws that we've made is that we've assumed that the 5 corresponds with the 35. That this length, this length here corresponds with the total length here. However, that's an assumption that we've made because it kind of looks like it does. And we're kind of used to questions where it does because normally we know that these two here are parallel and therefore it definitely would. But there's nothing in the question that says these two are parallel. So it could be that this seven centimeters here is the one that corresponds with the 35 centimeters here. So we've got to then run the figures again. So it could be that the 7 corresponds with the 35 centimeters. So the scale factor then would be 35 divided by 7, which is 5. So if the scale factor is 5, then we're going to look at this top one here, the 5 centimeters here and times that by 5 to get to the x plus 7. So it would be x plus 7 equals 5 times 5, which is 25. And then take away the 7 both sides, which would be 18. It's very, very difficult to, to get your head around that because it's so convincing that these two lines are parallel, but they're definitely not and the, the hint in the question in this one anyway is that it's saying that the diagram is not drawn accurately um, and in the exam if they ask a question like this you'll notice that the two lines here are going to be subtly different sort of slants on them so that it's not too misleading but yeah very very difficult to spot and sometimes in the exam you'll have questions like that you just need to try and think through what assumptions have you made and are you right to make those assumptions.